We are BR and proud of it. WASB Channel 9. Good morning. Now look at local news. Iberville Parish is using borrowed military vans to deliver children to school this exam week. It's because nearly a fourth of Parish school bus drivers are on strike. Baton Rouge Water Company tonight broke its all-time record for daily water usage. 82 million gallons pumped today as residents were watering lawns and gardens. State House of Representatives has approved its first tax bill of this session. It's a measure raising riverboat casino taxes by about 3%. Weather-wise, no rain in the forecast again. More news later. This news bulletin now from 9 News. We have heard of an explosion in Ascension Parish that rocked homes in Donaldsonville, Gonzales, French Settlement, a very percussive thing which rattled windows and opened doors. Authorities have closed down Highway 3089 just over the Sunshine Bridge where we believe the blast took place at CF Industries. That's what the Ascension Parish Sheriff's Office is telling us. No reports of injuries at this point. It's all preliminary, but we do know that an explosion has occurred at CF Industries in Donaldsonville. Proceed with caution if you are in Ascension Parish and stay tuned to this station for more information. It'll come to you as soon as we get it. Good evening, I'm Donna Britt. We now have an update on the explosion at CF Industries that we first told you about at midnight. It now appears that Acadian Ambulance has identified seven injuries on the plant site and has airlifted at least one of them already. The plan is to move the injured people at CF Industries to Riverview Medical, stabilize them, find out who needs the help the worst because most of them are burned, and then move them on to Baton Rouge General. There have been no reports of injuries outside of the plant except perhaps some stinging eyes, burning eyes. It is advised right now if you are in Ascension Parish around Donaldsonville, in French Settlement, in those areas, and were able to hear the big blast at midnight, you might want to keep your windows closed. We'll keep you posted. I have no idea. We now have an update on those injuries in the explosion at CF Industries in Donaldsonville. Nine News has learned that inside the plant, state troopers have established there are 12 injured. None of the injuries is believed to be fatal. But all of these people are being transported to Riverview Hospital where they will be examined for their burns. Most of them burned. The more serious cases will be transported to Baton Rouge General in Baton Rouge. There's a special burn unit there. The explosion took place at midnight. It could be felt in Gonzales, French Settlement and surrounding areas. Morgan Chemical Plant, which is right across the river from CF Industries, reported the most percussion over there, but no damages there. What they did tell us is that they did not hear a siren go off at CF Industries, which is usually an indication of a problem. The highway, 3089, in front of the plant, has been closed in all directions, as are parts of Louisiana Highway 70. So right now, extra sheriff's units are gathering at Riverview Hospital, where family members of workers at CF Industries are gathering. They're asking everyone to be calm. There is now no apparent danger to people around the plant. They are simply working what has happened there. Nine News will keep you posted. We have this update now from Nine News on the plant explosion in Donaldsonville. It appears that everyone is safe now. The site has been contained. There was no release of gas that we know of. State, uh, Sheriff's Department has confirmed it was a hydrogen explosion, and there lies the damage. As many as 12 people have been injured, some say as many as seven. We know that two people right now have been transported to Baton Rouge General in critical condition. These burns are serious. Hydrogen explosion at CF Industries in Donaldsonville on Highway 3089. The highway right now is closed. We would like to uh, tell everyone that state police are investigating inside. They do not see evidence of a fire burning, no evidence of a huge chemical release. And so neighbors around the plant have been very concerned about whether they can open their windows. And we're now signaling that the time is now safe. We will be updating you as we get more information, but we'll try not to interrupt your programming. Watch across the bottom of the screen. Nine News will make sure you know what's going on. You may see it, please come to order. Court is now in session. When I was little, I wanted to be a police officer, and my dad kind of ordered me not to be one. He said it was too dangerous. Enrique Camarena always dreamed of following in his father's it's footsteps. Awesome. Good afternoon, Your Honor. Enrique Camarena on behalf of the people. He's now the Deputy District Attorney in San Diego County. This is about as close as I can get to being a police officer. 
His father, Enrique Sr., was a special agent with the Drug Enforcement Administration in Guadalajara. I was aware that he was an undercover agent. I don't... I think at that time, I didn't realize how dangerous it was. But his father did, and risked his life infiltrating the inner core of Mexico's drug cartels. He was the sheep just hanging out among the wolves, and obviously he got a little too close to their liking. On February 7th, 1985, Camarena was abducted outside the U.S. consulate. I remember my mom being a little nervous because he didn't come home. And that had never happened. Authorities conducted a car-by-car -car search along the Mexican border one month later. Camarena's body was found. He had been brutally beaten and tortured. At age 11, Enrique was shouldered with a heavy responsibility. A lot of it was, I have to be strong, I'm now the man of the house. And I also felt a, a drive to be someone. And he did. I would submit as to the issue of bail. And there were times when I grew up, I thought, I have an excuse to kind of fail. I went through something that was pretty bad, pretty horrible. But I don't like falling back on things. So I move on and I make things work. He truly honors his father by what he is and what he has become. Please welcome Enrique. I'm influenced by continuing the legacy. It's important in the sense that I can contribute to what he was doing. All while successfully carving out a name for himself. Go! Gives you some, some sense of purpose and, it, and it hopefully makes you an example. And he was an example to a lot of people, and I hope I can just pass that on to my children. I'm Dan Rather, and that's this week's American Dream. Here's your up-to-the-minute forecast. Showers and thunderstorms will be scattered across the Rockies and western high plains. Showers and thunderstorms are likely from Oklahoma through the Tennessee Valley. By nighttime, the east should be mainly clear, with rain remaining only in northern Maine and southeast Canada. High temperatures today, mainly 70s in the north, with some 60s in the northwest and Great Lakes, 80s to 100s in the desert.